Breaking news. Nope. First, we got Todd for $10, but breaking news. Uh, Quinn Miners gets a contract. Woo! Broncos guard Quinn Miners of Adam Schefter reports uh, started 39 games since Denver selected him out of Wisconsin Whitewater. Uh, signs a four year, $80 million contract extension that includes $45 million guaranteed and ties him to the team through the 2028 season. Uh, so big news there, Carl, I'm going to dip out for one second and give uh, Chad a quick call, but, uh, just cause yeah. I typically do that a lot for him when stuff like this happens, but, uh, <laughs> go ahead. Oh, I put myself out. What am I doing? Oh. Uh, so, okay. Now I can talk here. Um, no, that, that's great news for the Broncos. I think he is one of the, the two true players that I would be willing to give a long time contract. And as, um, as Scott says, so in actuality, a two-year, $45 million deal with two club options. You know, you have to remember, overall money is rarely what a player actually gets. Um, either they're redoing the deal after three years and that fourth year is completely thrown out, or the player's being cut because there's not as much guaranteed money at that point. I think this is great for the Broncos. I think it's great for Quinn Miners. Uh, I do think he is a top five, top seven guard in football and seems to be only getting better with each year. You know, you have to remember he came in from Clearwater White or Wisconsin Whitewater. Yeah, Clearwater Wisconsin, um, a Division three school, and uh, and so for him to now be at the level that he is, and like I said, he's only ascending. I've only seen this guy getting better year after year. I, I think this is a great thing for the Broncos, and and just having that offensive line locked up when you've got a young quarterback. I would rather invest in the offensive line than I would the wide receivers. That's just me. I'm not saying ignore the wide receiver position, but I've seen like some people talking about trading for Brandon Ayuk um, and giving him a $30 million contract. And I love Brandon Ayuk. And I think he would be great for Bo Nix, but I also don't want to give up that first round pick when it could be a top 10 pick next year. 